Hey, 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 Virgo. If it's your birthday today, happy fucking birthday. I'm glad that it's your birthday. I hope you're going out and doing something fun. Um, I hope you're enjoying nature. I hope you are around people that you really love and appreciate. Those that really love and appreciate you. Um, I know that it's been hard for us lately. I say us because I am a fellow Virgo. <laughs> I get what's in the air. I get it. I totally fucking get it. <sighs> Elton John Panda. Had to bring him in again. For those who have been following for the past couple days, you know that I'm doing birthday readings every day. This is going to be combined for a birthday reading and for the collective for the next week. So, um, today there will only be one Virgo video. Um, so it's going to be this one combined. Um, what else? Um, I'm still with the Selenite and the Rose Quartz because I really feel like that we are going into that. Um, we're still looking out for our own self-love. We're still looking out for cleansing what no longer serves us. Um, we are into being true to ourselves. It's, it's, it's not something that we're used to doing, but we're liking it, right? I mean, like really choosing ourselves over everything and everybody else. I think it's been such a hard road. Because we are so busy trying to give to other people. And even through this process, we tend to kind of feel like we're alone in hermit mode. Trying to figure things out on our own. It's almost like everybody's the enemy right now. Because, I mean, I think collectively everybody's going through something. But it's almost like we are choosing us when we feel like people stopped choosing us or maybe they didn't choose us at all in the first place and we're feeling that but you know we're cleansing out the old we're cleansing out the old this is with people this is with our own toxic behaviors this is our own way of thinking we are cleansing out the old so we can welcome in the new and it's gonna be right it's going to be right. It's going to, it has to be, um, people who have our best interest in mind. It has to be with people that love us to the point that they understand. Okay. Virgo is like the shiznit. Okay. They have to learn and know that. They have to appreciate that. And we're so tired of teaching people. It's like if it doesn't come naturally, we just kind of don't want it. And it's just, uh, we're tired of teaching people how to love us. It's really not that difficult. It's really not that hard. People think we're so metic meticulous. But you know what? We are. But we, we are for good reason. Okay, I am tapping into my higher self and my spirit guides to tap into your higher self and your spirit guides so we can get the lovely messages that my fellow Virgos need to see in here. Okay. All right, Spirit. What messages do you have for my lovely Virgos? I also think we've been doing a lot of overthinking. We do a lot of overthinking to the point where we drive ourselves crazy. We tend to kind of make up scenarios that are never going to happen or we, we think the worst about something. We might have somebody who falls off on communication and we instantly think that they are trying to play games with us and we just like really don't have time for a whole lot of bullshit right now see we're our, we're in like a hermit type mode um it's like we're bringing it in we're concentrating on our own shit um we have our own growth that we're working on that's the eight of pentacles 
and you see the person that has they have like the cloak so it's like we're guarding our energy this is our goals right here that we want to fulfill and this is what we're working on so we can fulfill them this is our growth this is all of our plans that we have going on we don't have time for bullshit right now we don't have time for people's bullshit the magician in reverse sword seven of swords in reverse seven of cups upright the hierophant this is definitely a learning lesson i do feel like that there are times that we're kind of going back and forth where we're we are feeling extremely empowered and then we feel like our power is being stripped from us because we are doing a lot of shadow work we're doing a lot of self-reflection we're doing a lot of do i even want this energy in my life do i want to keep this energy in my life um what kind of job do I want? What house do I want to live in? Like we are, we are thinking so much about it all. We're thinking so much about it all. And this is a big learning experience for us. I look at the Hierophant. It's a teacher. It's a mentor. It is, you know, somebody or something, an energy. It could be ourselves. You know, that is teaching us and helping us along the way of getting where we want to go. But with the Magician in Reverse, I'm not looking at the Magician in Reverse as a bad card um, or a bad way of looking at the card. I really see it as us jumping back and forth. Like, we are really in our hermit mode. We're jumping back and forth with... Um everything this is a card of manipulation and dishonesty um when it's in reverse feeling powerless feeling dis disillusioned um But see, that could be, you know, feeling light too. Like, we could be feeling that about ourselves though. Like, if you have a person who's not contacting you back, you instantly go into, why am I not, why am I not worth it to them mode? But the thing is, is that are you worth it enough for you to step away and leave it alone? You know, that's the hard part. Because when you do step away and leave it alone, guess what, Virgo? They freak the fuck out because at any given moment, you know, this is how Virgos work. Virgos will warn you. Virgos are going to warn you not one time, not two times, not three times, maybe four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. But then when they're done, they are done. And, and the thing is that. Nobody ever knows when the threshold is. Shit, we don't even know when the threshold is. It could be one time. It could be ten times. We don't even know. We go by our levels of, okay, I can let this slide one more time. You may have somebody who is lying to you about stuff not being extremely forward I wonder once again I wonder if this has anything to do with a relationship um you have somebody who is trying to manipulate secrets there's secrets going on somebody's not being forward with you and you feel it you know this you feel it you feel that somebody's not being forward with you. They're not letting you know what's going on. They're being deceptive for their own selfishness. And then it's like, you know, you're thinking about all these possibilities that you want with your life. You're thinking about all these possibilities that you want with your life. You have to, con you have to continue choosing you. 
Follow your instinct and continue choosing you. Continue choosing what it is that you want in life. Cont continue choosing your own dreams and your own path. That's hard for us to do, especially when, you know, we have a person that we love or we have a path that we love or we have a job that we love. But you have to look out for your own self. You have choices. You have options. You know, um, following your intuition to fulfill your dreams. The people who are meant to be in there are going to be in there. Make sure you're doing self-reflection, removing yourself from this energy. And I feel like that you're doing that, but you're doing it with like a heavy heart. And you're doing this with a lot of heaviness on your mind of, I want this to work. Why am I not? And here comes the old shadow work part. Why am I not good enough for them to get their shit together? And the thing is, is that what they're doing is not a reflection of you, Virgo. What they're doing is a reflection of themselves, of the, the reality that they see in their current life. So it's like if they, they're projecting to you what they have gotten from others. Keep that in mind that this is what they're going through has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with what they are trying to do. You know, you're wanting structure, you're wanting lessons, you're wanting to go forward, you're wanting a whole different path than somebody who is toxic. You're wanting commitment. You're wanting somebody to go along that path with you. But the thing is, is that I don't think that you're going to get anybody to do that with you right now. And the anger that you're feeling, is it because you're entertaining this energy? It could be. Because you're like really thinking about it, you know, like if this is about a person that you love, it's like you really love this person and you really want them to love you back. But guess what? They're not going to love you how you love them. They are going to love you how they love you. And they can only love you to the extent of what they feel or how they project love they need to know they need to learn by not not your words they need to learn by your actions and you have to be patient with that you cannot make them feel the loss of you until you separate yourself out and then you have to give it time and then you have to realize they may not chase you because I think Virgos have this Virgos have this feel about them that they are unreachable they have this feel about them that they are you know damn Virgo is just too good for me and people get stuck in their own heads when it comes to us for some reason because, you know, we're like, okay, we're about not playing games. We want this. But people, man, they like going round and round and round with bullshit. See, here's the tower. You're going to have a tower moment with this person. Five of Cups, but Justice card. You're going to have a tower moment with this person. And you're going to have to figure out where you're going to go with it. Look at all these eyes. And these are not happy ones. But see, the tower moment is actually good because you're actually going to find the foundation of what it is that you want. What, you know, where can you go from here? Tower moments give you clarity. Tower moments give you clarity. And this is you trying to figure it out. You're wanting closure on this. You're wanting, 
You're wanting to know where is this fucking going? Like, where is this fucking going? I don't have time to waste anymore. Where is this fucking going? And that's going to cause the tower moment. That's going to cause the tower moment because you want clarity. And you want a breakdown. You don't have time for bullshit. You don't have time for bullshit. You don't want bullshit. You don't want to be lied to. You don't have time. You just don't have time. And I feel like that you might be tired of forcing the issue. It's like, you want justice. You want fairness. You want honesty. You want them to keep it real with you. But the question is, are they? And can you control that? Are they going to keep it real with you? Trust me when I say that they know what they're losing if they lose you for a go. And the thing is, is that you need to keep pick, you know, keep choosing yourself. Keep choosing yourself over this. Because if this is something that, if this is a lesson that is popping up to you, and this is a repeat lesson, especially with this person, you might be needing to clear it out so you can welcome in some new Something that's better serving for you. Something that's better serving for you. You getting justice. I feel like drawing a few more cards about this energy. See? After, look at this. After the justice, after justice, you're going to feel like, you may feel like you're losing something or you're, you're dropping someone, you're dropping something. You're saying, fuck it, but you're going to get so much strength from that. And look at that power. Got the high priestess. You're going to, I feel like that when it comes to this, you're going to break it down. You're going to say, fuck this shit.com. You're going to get your inner strength back on track. You already have it, but I feel like that, you know, you may be a little bit off right now. Like you're really trying to, to figure some shit out and energies around you is just not helping any clearing them out. Clearing them out so you can welcome in the new. And you and you may not even know who to trust right now. Because you got some pretty deceitful people around you. How can I get Virgo to see things my way? Is how I'm feeling. Like, you have people who are trying to be conniving and being, being like, how can I get... How can I get Virgo to be on my side? How can I get Virgo to um, fall into my game. Virgos love real. And the thing is, is that if a person is real, you can call them out on something and they're still going to be the same person. But if they're not real, you're going to call them out on something and it's going to shake their fucking world. And then the truth self is going to come out and then it's going to show you, okay, well, they were trying to manipulate me all along. I mean... We have this bullshit detector that is like no other. You have to keep choosing yourself, Virgo, because clear out that negative. Work on that shadow. Clear out that negative so that way you can bring in the new. Because I feel like you releasing, you having that power moment, you having that moment of clarity, it's going to clear things out. And the thing is, is that when it comes to new, this is what I always tell myself. When it comes to new energies, it's either going to be the same person that is renewed and has evolved into a different space. And that can be classified as a new energy coming in. 
or it's a new person altogether. But either way, you have to get yourself in that space, in that mindset. I don't know about you, but I notice that when I have my self-empowering moments, I literally feel a gateway open and then all these other doors open and I'm like, yes. And it's all because I ascended myself forward. And it's something that I have learned over the years to do to like really push myself through something that's uncomfortable. And I get, I get rewarded every time. And this is one of those moments. Spirit, what angel messages do you have for my lovely Virgos? I feel like so many things are up in the air. Ascension. See, we were just talking about ascending yourself upward. Pulling that light within. Don't share it with nobody right now. Fuck them. You don't need to share it with anyone right now. You just continue working on yourself. And what's meant for you is going to gravitate to you. You're also, keep in mind that you're also going to gravitate negative to you because you do have people that want your light because they don't have it within themselves. Those are the people that you need to protect yourself from. Put Place up a mirror shield. Take their energy, kiss it, hug it, and send that shit back. Because you don't need it. So we have ascension, which is getting in touch with yourself. Believe in dreams. This is about following your dreams. You got your dreams in mind. You got, you have your dreams in mind. You know what it is that you need to be doing. Flowing with your higher self. I don't know if you can really see that card. But you see her right there in the field, and then that's her higher self. And her higher self is reaching up to the infinity, which is source, which is God, whatever you want to call it. Ascension, if you're looking at this, the light is up here, pulling it with, from within. Look at the hands. Make sure that you're getting in touch with source, inner calling. Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself about your dreams, where it is that you want to go. Stay focused on that. Fuck people right now. Energy. Make sure you're protecting your energy. You don't need anybody pulling off of your energy. Let them figure the shit out on their own. Let them realize that they have to pull their own energy and they have to replenish their own energy. You save yours for yourself because you need it. Make sure you're getting lots of rest and relaxation. Make sure you're decompressing. Eat right. Make sure you're exercising. Get some sun. Make sure that you're doing what you need to for yourself. One more. The here and now. Focus on today. Focus on the present. You can be making plans for the future, but focus on the present and bring it in. Anxiety is about worrying. Anxiety comes from worrying about the future. Depression comes from knowing that you can't change the past. Live right here in the present. What do you have right here in the present that you need to pull in? Your own love, your own understanding. That just popped out. You being graceful with yourself. And knowing that the love that you're looking for from others, it's within you. We have to constantly remind ourselves from that. But I think we get so damn tired because we do pour a lot of our own love out to other people. So it's like we want outside sources to replenish it, but really we need to just stop giving it out to the wrong people and giving it out to the wrong energies. We can make so much happen for ourselves if we just pulled it into ourselves. And some of us are actually working on that. Spirit, what spirit animal messages do you have for my lovely Virgos?
going to keep those two that just kind of floated out. I don't know why I thought about Muhammad Ali when he said, floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if one of them is about a butterfly. We have the lion. We have the bear. Okay, so none of those. <laughs> but still came to mind. We have the panther protection. We have the kangaroo. One more. We got the sloth. So, what I'm feeling off of these. The lion. Honor. Honor your soul and celebrate its journey. It's time to like really bring yourself back in and look at your own journey. Don't worry about who's going to be on it. Don't worry about who's going to be there. Don't worry about, um, you don't have to beg for support from anyone. People are going through their own shit and they're doing their own selfish things. It leaves them to it. You are the light and you know that you're the light. You are the light. You already know this. This is what people are craving. This is what they want. But most of the time they want it without having to give anything back. It is safe to step fully into your light. But make sure that you're protecting it. See, I'm looking at this mountain back here. It's the only mountain that's dark. Make sure you're protecting yourself. Make sure that you're not allowing people to pull off of you. When they should be doing the work themselves. Panther. Protection. Consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. There's a lot of times that, you know, we love toxic people. I'm not saying we love toxic people. I'm just saying that there are people that we love that happen to be toxic. And for whatever reason, we feel like if we protect ourselves from them, then we are keeping ourselves from them. But that's not truly the case if they you know how I was saying that every time we have a breakthrough um or at least for me every time I have a breakthrough I can feel the rewards from the universe that's how we have to be with our own energy when people around us ascend and they raise themselves and we can feel it that's when we can unlock something within ourselves and give Until then, we have to start protecting ourselves from the bullshit because we place ourselves in the line of fire. Courage. You are being tested. Have faith and stand in your truth. Make sure you're being honest with yourself about stuff. Make sure you're being honest with them. But also make sure you're backing up your words and not settling for bullshit. Don't settle for anything. Sloth, digital detox, recalibrate, reset, and recharge. If you're not on social media a lot, this could mean, you know what, unplug your fucking phone. Unplug your phone. Give yourself a day or two, maybe even three. Don't worry about certain things. If there's a, a, a certain someone that you are that you are needing a break from, Block their number for a few days. Block their number for a few days and see what happens. And then bring it back up and let's see how many voicemails you have. It's just, you do not have to keep your energy around anything that is not serving you. Go take a spa day. You know, now that I'm actually thinking about it, I'm actually going to set up an appointment for there's this um it's called serenity salt cave these are the hardest things to shuffle like this so i don't even know why i did it like this okay so this is how we're gonna do it because they're heart cards you know um but yeah it has like a salt cave it's a salt cave that has like himalayan salt lined I mean, it is like the most relaxing place ever. I need to set myself up an appointment this week. And I think I'm going to just for this reason. <laughs> okay, Spirit, what, what love messages do you have for my lovely Virgos? 
And these love messages could be from a loved one. It could be um, living or passed on. It could be from the person you're in separation of. It could be from your own higher self. It could be from your angels. However it resonates with you. Good shuffle. So far already we have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. And when I see have fun together, how I'm getting that is go have fun with your higher self. Go have fun with the different dimensions of yourself. Go have some fun. Take a break from the shit. Stop thinking about it. Go laugh. And just don't think about it. Don't think about it anymore for right now. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. such a real message but it's a message that kind of sucks you know because what you want and what you need are two different things what you want is understanding what you want is compassion what you want is stability but you're you can give all that to yourself this is really a big self-love lesson for a lot of us Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. This goes, to me, this goes towards that new energy I was telling you about. If you release the old shit, you don't know what new energy is going to come to you. But you, and before you can unlock that door, you have to get your shit in line. You have to focus on self. You have to focus on your um, your goals. You have to focus on what it is that you're trying to do. You have to release the toxic people in your life that's, present, that's preventing you from meeting your secret admirer. Someone's watching your ass in the background. They're paying attention to you. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dra dramatically improve. But keep in mind, I mean, you could have somebody that's a friend that you're talking to and you're just friends with them and you're just kind of shooting the shit back and forth. You'd be amazed on where that can go. Keep your mind open to it, but don't press anything and just go with the flow. Observe them and let them observe you and just be relaxed. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Stay intact. Stay connected to your higher self. Your higher self is guiding you. It's going to be okay. Take time to meditate on it. Take time to cut toxic ties. Take time to be sure that, you know, you are worth people rising up for, Virgo. You need to know that. You have to know that. You are worth people rising up for. And if they don't rise up, guess what? They can kiss your ass. I think I said that in yesterday's reading, too. They don't rise up. They can kiss your ass. Full circle, kind of. There we go. Now it's full circle. That is the reading that I have for you today, my lovely Virgos. I am sending you so, 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 so much love. We're going to get through this, okay? We are some bad motherfuckers, okay? We really are. And, we're, and th this is reward time. It's reaping rewards time. We need to stop looking at who we love and look at who the universe is bringing in our lives to love. But in order to, 
to see better, we have to let go of those that are not serving us. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in a private video or, I'm sorry, a private reading, the link is down below um, for you to book one. It entails an unlisted video and um, you can ask me whatever questions you want to know. And also, if you're interested in my Etsy store, it's linked down below. Let's see what else. Happy birthday again, if it's your birthday, hey. And um, like, share, and subscribe if you like your video. And I am sending you so much love, light, and protection. And we got this shit. Because like I said, we're some bad motherfuckers. We can handle this. We're going to get through it. Alright, I'm sending you so much love. And I will see you next time. Bye.